Welcome to the 2023 Prep Football Highlight Season. We open at Fort Thomas as the Apaches begin their season in muddy conditions against the Babakivri Warriors after a thunderstorm caused a 30-minute weather delay. Kainoa's Hawaiian Grill is the spot in Thatcher to enjoy healthy Hawaiian food with a friendly atmosphere and great service. Order in person or by the phone or online to see the tasty treat everyone is talking about. That's Kainoa's Hawaiian Grill. The field conditions didn't seem to bother the Warriors, who broke the ice on the second play from scrimmage as Babo quarterback Javier Mies went yard from 35 out. Mies finished the possession by reaching across the pylon for the two-point conversion, and Babo was up early, 8 to nothing. Fort Thomas looked to answer back on its second play from scrimmage as well, but out of nowhere, big Jesse Buendia steps in front of the Alan Gilbert offering, and Buendia is headed for glory, but Gilbert saves the pick six with a nice open field tackle. Three plays later, and nobody's there to stop the counter by Nathaniel Garcia for the one-yard score. And before you know it, Babo's up 14-0, and it's still early in the first. The Warriors' defense continued to stifle the Apaches, and on third and long, Lucan Arvisio just got enough of Gilbert, and Elliot Antone finished him off. Optimal Health Systems in Pima is the original whole food supplement company, with its high-potency whole food formulas absorbable at the cellular level. Come in to OHS today and try our blend of supplements that thousands of doctors and athletes have used for decades. Then on fourth and forever, the snap sails over Gilbert's head and through the end zone for a safety. The play added two more points for the Warriors, and the ensuing punt kickoff gave them the ball at the Apache's 36-yard line. Babo made the most of the turnover as Mies takes it around the left side 19 yards to pay dirt to put the Warriors up 24-0 with 6.26 left in the first. Roadrunner Rehab has been helping Gila Valley residents and athletes achieve their peak performance for over 30 years. They are now offering occupational therapy and adult speech therapy to assist in all your rehabilitation needs. Whether they're getting you back to work or back on the field, they're here to help you. Following a Fort Thomas punt, Carmelo Robertson interrupts what Bobo wants to do, but Mies improvises and takes it himself. Mies is brushing off tacklers and tiptoeing down the sideline, just staying in bounds. He reverses his field, has got two more men to beat, they can't get him, and he goes 57 yards for the score, but hang on a second. The ref says there's fouls on both teams, so replay the down and no score. Two plays later, and a low snap gets past Mies as the ball squirts back to Bobbles 38. But Mies just picks it up and heads down the sideline. He brushes off Gilbert, then cuts it back, and it's a race to the end zone, and nobody catches him in time as Mies goes 62 yards for the score, and Babo is up 30 to nothing at the end of the first. The fort showed some signs of life to start the second as the defense forced a punt, and then Gilbert hit Justin Olivar for a big third down conversion and the duo's first connection of the night. However, a bad snap gave the Warriors the ball at the Apache's 20, and two plays later, Eli Pablo capitalized on the turnover with a 20-yard jaunt along the right side to put Babo up 36-0 in the second. The Warriors' defense continued to dominate as Kulukio Velasco snags their second interception of the game, and Baba Kivri takes its 36-0 lead into the locker room at the half. With amenities designed to keep patients comfortable and relaxed, Copper Hills Dental is your choice for anxiety-free dentistry. Visit our website and Facebook page or simply call 428-2750 to schedule your appointment today. That's Copper Hills Dental. The fort got it going on the ground a little bit in the third as Gilbert takes off for one of the multiple first downs on the drive. However, a few plays later and Jordan Jose catches Gilbert to flatten him for a loss and the fort would ultimately turn the ball over on downs. And Mies wasn't done scoring either as he takes what appears to be a busted play and skirts down the sidelines. Nobody's going to catch him as he goes 60 yards for the score. The two-point conversion was good, and Babo stretched its lead to an unsurmountable 44-0 with about four minutes left in the third. High energy prices got you down? Then hustle over to New Insulation Concepts in Pima, where we feature fiberglass, spray foam, and injection foam insulation to fit your specific residence or business's needs. Call 928-428-8118 for a free estimate today. But the Apaches never quit, and to start the fourth, Gilbert tosses a beautiful pass right into the breadbasket of Michael Olivar, who could go... Oh, a shoestring tackle by Garcia saves the touchdown and helps keep the fort out of the end zone. The Apaches had a shot on third and goal from the 10, but Michael Olivar just can't hang on to the pass, 
and the fort turned the ball over on downs on the following play. So now the Warriors have it on their own 10, and they hand it off looking around at the clock, but Eli Pablo has other plans, and he heads down the sideline, then turns it back inside, and there's nobody even in the frame with him as he crosses the goal line. However, a holding call negated the play and brought the ball all the way back. Now the fort's going to have one more shot to put some points on the board, with the ball at the Warriors 20 with 9 seconds left in the game. The snap goes over Gilbert's head, and he backtracks to retrieve the ball. He gathers it and runs to his right and slings a desperation heave into the end zone, and it's caught by Justin Olivar for the score, but the fort was called for an illegal block in the back to give Gilbert space to throw, and the points were taken off the board. With one second left in the game, Gilbert connected with Michael Olivar at the 10, but he was double teamed and couldn't break free of their grasp, and the game ended with the shutout. The Fort will look to rebound on the road next week against region rival Duncan. Reporting from Fort Thomas for the Gila Herald, I'm John Johnson.